The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is the Eagle Sports Network. I am Danielle Whaley alongside Suzanne Strudwick, the head coach of the women's golf team, a second place showing at the Trevecca Music City Invitational. How was that performance for your team? Oh, man, it was great. It was so good. I mean, we did fantastic. I mean, the weather conditions were really tough, the toughest we've played in so far. Um, you know, and so for the girls to, to go out and do as well as they did, to knuckle down, I mean, that was really our whole thing was to just grind it out. It, it was going to be tough for everybody. It was going to be all about attitude. And so if they could just tough it out, keep it going, we knew they were going to make mistakes. Every player out there was going to make mistakes. Um, but just keep going keep you know just one step in front of the other and just keep going and they did that they did it absolutely fantastically in the first day the freshmen really showed their stuff yeah. with that fourth place finish as a team and then second on the second day with the yeah. the experienced players really showing their toughness yeah. how was that depth that you had talked about so important against such top competition with unfavorable yeah. weather yeah i mean i had said to the girls going out that par even though it was 72 i said listen the par's going to be 76 77 so basically the freshmen went out and shot par um I, okay a couple of our senior upperclassmen didn't do so well but we knew that was going to happen if you're not hitting the ball a hundred percent then mistakes were going to be compounded because of the weather but they stepped up to the plate they got it sorted out and um you know for the next day the last round i mean that was huge it was really huge. So so really pleased for Matilda from Sweden. Uh, we joked all the way around that this was just like home weather, so <laughs> she, it was nothing for her. But obviously it was still very tough. So it shows the depth that we now have on the team. Our qualifiers have been excellent because they've pushed the girls, that they know they've had to score well just to make the travel team. And I, you know, I had it that we were going to have another qualifier, but I, to be honest, these girls did so well. There was only two shots between all of them. There isn't one person that did not deserve to keep their spot on the team. Um, and so looking at the scores that were um, produced while the girls were away by the girls staying here, um, there wasn't anybody that was outstanding with their scores under the same conditions here playing at home. Nobody stood out. Nobody did any better. In fact, my girls in the tournaments did better. So the team is as it is. We don't have a qualifier. Um, so that, and they've earned that spot. Um, Allie Fletcher is going to travel with us as the individual, so I'm hoping that she'll enjoy that role, get a good look at the, at the preview event and tournament there, ready for next year. And this next coming week, it's the fall finale, but it's mm -hmm. a huge super regional at right. Christian Brothers University in uh, West Tennessee. And having Allie back, I know individuals have been huge for this team. How do you think that's really going to propel the team to do well overall in this fall finale? Yeah, I think, you know, with her doing so well at Salisbury as an individual, it just, again, it just really highlights the depth that we have on the team. And I know there's some girls that have not qualified um, to play in a tournament in the fall, but I am, you know, very much confident that that's not because they're not almost on the cusp of making it. They really are. It's just that, you know, we're, we're all, the whole team is good. And so it's in the spring, I know they'll, uh, they'll shine, you know, and, and they'll keep pushing each other. So I don't have a problem with it back-to-back -back weeks of top competition as you head into the Super Regional preview. What are you expecting to see from your girls coming from such an outstanding finish uh, this previous weekend? Yeah, you know, I think that, that because it is such a quick turnaround, there might be a little bit of a letdown, but we've been looking forward to this event for a while. We've talked about it as, as returning once Elizabeth made it as an individual last year. Um, we, You know, our goal has been to return to the regionals as a team and so this gives her gives us a preview like last week there are the top teams in the country in our region playing um, last week we beat two teams in the top 10 of the country this week um, if we can do the same then our ranking which came out at 29th which is awesome 
um, will move up again. So it's uh, it's a no, we can, although it, it you know it's a tough turnaround. This is what happens in competition in college. You know it's tough. So we're going to grind it out and we're going to enjoy it and uh, hopefully finish strong. It's going to be a crucial ending to this amazing fall slate that the team has taken on. So good luck this weekend and thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. She's Suzanne Strudwick. I'm Danielle Whaley and this is the Eagle Sports Network.